Good morning, plumbers, YouTube, and plumbing apprentices. Today's adventure is an easy day. I'm kind of beat up from the firehouse, so CB2 is in school today, and I had a couple questions from the fellas, especially these young plumbers, apprentices, wannabes, that what tools do you need? So I think I'm going to do a little clip on startup kits for plumbers because I just happened to get for CB2 for Christmas, which was a few months ago, some hand tools because I was tired of him using mine and when I went to use my tools, I didn't have them. So it definitely helps. I'm just going to go check a job real quick, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you his tools. This way you have an idea. But the biggest thing, as you know plumbers, everyday plumbers that the passion to work and you gotta love this tree can't be afraid to get dirty and uh, can't be afraid to get up early so I had a couple guys actually reach out to me uh, Brendan K apprentice Asia an apprentice so that's what inspired me to do this little video of what tools you need, you know? So, you know we do everyday plumbing. So, the good, the bad, the ugly. If you enjoy our content, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell on, I appreciate it. And any plumbers that wanna join in on this tool teaching, tool recommendation, whatever you wanna call it, Feel free to put some comments down below. I know you guys will anyway, but uh, it's all good. Home sweet home. Let's get some fresh air out here, boys. Like I was saying, Christmas time, I got CB2 uh, some tools. Let me get mine out the way here. CB2. I went to Home Depot, picked up a little carrier, which makes things real easy, okay? And first thing at the gate, which I recommend highly, is Douglas pliers, a necessity. Four in one screwdriver. The number one tool you need, folks, is a hard to work, a pencil, a tape measure, and a knife. If you show up with these, you're gonna be golden. Tape measure, pencil, razor knife. Pair of gloves, in case you're afraid of dirt, which I hope you're not. Nut drivers. One of your number one tools you're going to need, nut drivers. Especially for tool bolts. And what I'm going to show you is this. They come in uh, hollow shafts. So you want to be able to get by a bolt that will slide all the way down. Picture this, a toilet bolt, you're set in the toilet. I recommend Klein nut drivers. Klein tools because of the hollow shaft. And here's why. When you go to do a toilet, you can slide down the shaft. Some nut drivers come with a short hollow shaft, which this is doing you no good. So Klein, perfecto. Your Safety goggles. No one gets hurt on my job. Torpedo level. Gotta make sure stuff's pitched. Little poly cutter. PVC, poly supplies. Comes in handy. Cheese saw. For cutting closet bolts. Nice little handle here, the blade's nice and tight. Lower fine. Snips by Weiss or Wiss, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. Lefts, rights, and straights. Green, reds, and yellows. Alright? Again, if you don't have the money for these right now, your boss will have them. Ouch, I just got a cut. Sheetrock saw. We love cutting holes in walls. Hammer, of course. 
CB2 has got, these are Douglas imitations. So they said they were Douglas. They seem like they're pretty close, but they work. Little pair of pliers for a hold back, boom, boom. Always have two pair of pliers to hold back with. And again, your boss is gonna have these, so I wouldn't even buy them right now. Especially with the uh, advanced tools with the electric pipe cutters. M cutter by Rigid, cuts up to one inch pipe, copper. Number 15, Rigid pipe cutter. An open end wrench set. Again, not a necessity on day one. Nice to have, but not a necessity. I just happened to go to Home Depot and bought all Husky stuff for Chucky. That's why they're Husky open end wrenches. Still very shiny, as you see. Scraper, ball waxes. All right. Allen wrenches. This one here for disposals. Unjams disposal. All right. That's your basic tools. Magic markers. Your pencil. I'll put everything away. A couple pair of pliers. Pipe cutters. Snips. Hammer. Cheese saw and a sheet rock saw. We love holes. Four in one screwdriver. Number one, tape measure. Brace knife. Keep your pencil sharp. Pair of gloves. Bang. Ready to go to work. Man. That is it. What else? The big thing is this. To be a plumber, you gotta wanna work. Show up early. Don't stand around. Look how neat my truck is. See how neat this truck is? Don't stand around. Keep the truck clean. Keep the shop clean. There's always something to do. If you're working on a job, reorganize the job. It's like everything gets scattered. Reorganize the job. So, that's it, man. That is it. So, hopefully that helps you out. Big thing is, show up on time. Coffee. Ready to work. Oh, no cell phones. No cell phones. Oh my God, everyone's in their cell phone like this. Plumbers of the world, apprentices. Reach out to me, plumbers. You plumbers want to add anything on your own, please do down below. Some constructive criticism, some ideas, some suggestions. That'd be awesome. Thank you. Anyway, so the passion at work is key. That is going to be the key to your successful apprenticeship as a plumber. And again, if you show up with the will to work, you're going to have no problem ever finding a job. And uh, I want to give a special shout out to a couple guys. Uh, Ray Gay from Atlanta. Ray Gay, thank you for reaching out to me. I hope you picked up that Pro Press. Uh, I love it. Apprentices, you're going to find out real quick what a Pro Press is. And. But you still gotta learn how to solder. That's a whole nother, a whole nother uh, adventure. Uh, also, Bobby Frega out of North Jersey, my North Jersey brother. Thank you. He wanted a T-shirt, so what I'm gonna do? I, I can't give out one T-shirt to one guy. I, I can't afford to give out thousands of T-shirts. So what I'm gonna do when I get my website up? I'm gonna sell uh, T-shirts and hoodies with the proceeds. The profits from that is going to go to uh, uh, a special uh, benefit that I, I fund. So, and again, I'm going to put a little video out about that that's coming up. And so that's the plan. Once I get my website done, t-shirts going to be sold, hoodies, I don't know what else. Uh, and then again, the benefits, check that. The profits from that sales will go towards... A special uh, donation which uh, I can't wait to write that first check and uh, you'll see and uh, we'll make it a video of course so that's it man just an easy day today for me today and uh... so 
So hopefully, hopefully I'm able to uh, send some young plumber in the right direction. But that's the inspiration of this channel is uh, I think plumbing is awesome. And not everybody goes to college and all this stuff. I, I recommend going to college if you can. This way you can run a business better than I did. Better than your, your father or whatever. You know what I'm saying? There's always a smarter way to do stuff. So... And that's the, that's the hope of me, with my two kids, Chuck and Angelo. Become plumbers, but then run it better than I did. I have 32 years in plumbing. Been plumbing since I was 18. Uh, but I also went to Votech school. Any Milts out there, Milton Hershey School is where I went to high school. Votech. So I had two years of plumbing there any milts on the site give me a shout out that's my alma mater class 84 and uh, that's where I got my plumbing start Milton Hershey School in Hershey Pennsylvania so special shout out to all my milk brothers out there my milk brothers and sisters and uh, yeah it doesn't come overnight I can tell you that so enjoy the uh, ride you know the saying, it's going to be the good, the bad, and the ugly. Have a great day.